I really love Venice. Now like walking in the streets and I'm getting that feeling back of like, it is just magical here. There's something that is so magical. Good morning. I have just arrived to Venice Airport. I am here at the airport and I am so excited for what is to come. I have a few weeks here in Italy and this is just the beginning. This morning I woke up at 3.30 a.m. very, very early to get to the airport. It did not go as planned unfortunately and I went to the wrong terminal. And let me just tell you, the terminals in Barcelona Airport, they're not close together. So when I waited in the security line and then it wouldn't let me through, when he told me that I needed to go to the whole other terminal and I only had about 20 minutes to get there, I was so wedding bullets. A carry-on bag and then I would have liked to have filmed but getting myself together enough to have filmed after very little sleep um, probably wasn't the best idea. But I am here now, I made it, I uh, made my flight and I am in Italy for the next three weeks. So I am so excited to be here. Now that I've made it to the airport, the first thing that I did was buy this handy dandy little ticket that will get me onto the water bus. They call their buses water buses because they're little ferries that take you from place to place. So amazing. The airport is really close to Venice, so all I have to do is jump on this little boat and it'll take me directly to my Airbnb. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Here at the Venice airport, they make it very easy for you to find the water transport. There are signs everywhere and obviously this large sign would be hard to miss. I have been to Venice once before, many, many years ago, and it was such a good experience that from then on I, to multiple people, said that Venice was one of my favorite places in the entire world. I remember that. So then last night when I was trying to sleep, I had a very difficult time sleeping because I was so excited for this trip. So I think maybe I had one hour of sleep and that is it. So I'm ready to get to the Airbnb, get settled in, maybe take a little nap. I just had a revelation. These little boats, like that one, they're taxis. So when I was walking down this little walkway, these guys were just asking if I wanted a taxi. And the taxis are boats. That is so cool. It does turn out that I ended up with the wrong ticket that I needed and ended up having to pay 15 euro more to take the boat that my Airbnb host said will take me almost directly to the Airbnb. So to me it's worth it because otherwise I'd be wandering around trying to figure out how the heck I would get to the Airbnb. So it was my mistake and I'm down nine euros. That's unfortunate. <laughs> But I am taking a water boat. 15 euro is probably way cheaper than taking one of these taxis. But to be honest, I don't know. I don't know what the price is. But a private little boat, I imagine it would be expensive. from an airport to where I'm staying. Like I've never had such a unique experience by taking a taxi, a ferry, what do they call it? A bus, a water bus. <laughs> uh, it was amazing and actually a really long ride. So I got to see, I, I went over around, all around Venice and got to see as the smog from the morning was lifted and the sun started shining. It was absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see on the roads here in Venice, there are no cars, there are no roads, there's nowhere where people can drive. And so they rely heavily, heavily on boats here in Venice. Even the ambulances are boats, the taxis are boats, the buses are boats, the police officers are on boats, the track man, boats. <laughs> So awesome. Oh, I really love Venice. It, I now like 
walking in the streets and I'm getting that feeling back of like, it is just magical here. There's something that is so magical. But I think that I can show you my Airbnb. This is the kitchen. There's a little fridge, a stove top, a nice long bathroom with a shower, cute little painting type things. And then through here, it's the living room. Simple couch and chairs. And out this window is literally the water. So you might be thinking, Ash, this sounds like a very expensive trip. It really wasn't. From Barcelona, my flight this morning was 44 euro and I paid for an extra bag. So that wasn't even the price of the flight. I think the flight was like 30 euro one way, direct from Barcelona to Venice. That is so cheap and it only took an hour and 20 minutes. That is absolutely incredible. Like when I moved to Europe, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, I'll show you here. Look at these beams. So pretty. There's a big armoire, a band, and a big a dresser where I can unpack my things for the few days that I'm here. So as I was saying, like the flight itself was not that expensive. And then today I paid five euro to get to the airport in Barcelona. And from this airport, it was 15 euro. So I paid more in fees to get to the airports than I did actually <laughs> for my flight, which is insane. The other thing is to travel cheaper. I like to travel with friends, not only because travel is cheaper, but because I enjoy being with people and enjoying traveling with someone. So my friend Jordan is on his way. He is coming from Rome today. And so I will see him this afternoon. He's coming by train and then we'll go out and explore a little bit more of Venice. Uh, he and I are going to travel for the next week together and then I'm going to split off and I'm going to go do some of my own things here in Italy. But I'm really looking forward to whatever is to come. Venice is so beautiful and this Airbnb is amazing. I think that I'm going to go out, grab a croissant, have a coffee, and then maybe come back, relax a little bit because I can't see the city without Jordan. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. time to venture out into Venice and Jordan has joined me so we're gonna go out and get a little bite to eat here in Venice and right now the lights are going to start coming on in the buildings and you guys know how much I love looking inside buildings look at the one behind me to see how the Venetians live here in Venice I'm really looking forward to you know peeking just a little bit <laughs> to a small wine bar uh, that we came across, even though we tried a few wine bars and we were looking for these little small, they're not, they're like open day sandwiches. They're the tapas of Italy and most places are sold out of them right now. So it seems that if you want to get these type of things, then you need to do them earlier in the day. There's a name for them, I'll put it down here for you. <laughs> but it just said to get an overall spritz and then standard, they usually serve some chips and some other sort of things like nuts or these little, I don't even know what they are, <laughs> little cracker things. And then we got some cold cuts and yeah, just a nice little snack in the evening before having dinner. to come to a small little breakfast place here in Italy. A breakfast would be maybe a croissant and a coffee. The thing that I learned is that having coffee on the bar and standing up here is a lot cheaper than sitting at a table. They actually have an extra charge. So we've decided to have coffee 
at the bar, the Blanco, I think is how you say it. And then some delicious little pastries. So a small breakfast, but it looks freaking delicious. Ooh, and a cappuccini, <laughs> which is a cappuccino. <laughs> Try my little pastry. Oh, berries, and I think we need some cream in there. Oh, yeah. oh, and the crust is super crumbly too. That's delicious. I have decided to do a city tour so that's where I'm headed it's actually like a local city tour in the northern part of Italy which is where all the locals live so I'm looking forward to learn a little bit more about Venetian life as a local Grand Canal. Venice is separated in two different areas and this is the Grand Canal that goes straight through the middle of it. The Grand Canal has three twists and turns um, which makes it super interesting. There are many ways that you can get across this large canal. You can take a ferry, you can take bridges, or they have little gondola ferries. This part of the tour was probably one of my favorites because he talked about how the buildings are made. These buildings behind me, they are put on stilts into the dirt and the ground. And so these large pillars of wood are stuck into the mud where they become pretty hard and it hardens the mud beneath it. And then they put bricks on top of that. And that that is how the houses are built. It's not something I guess is miscommonly understood is that a lot of people think that the buildings are floating on water, but that's not the case. Venice was built in a lagoon, which the it was it's kind of like a sand bank, a sand island, or not sand, but mud that they build on. Something other than that, that is cool about this mud, is the color of the water is amazing. And the reason being is it is the silt that's being brought up by the mud. And that's what makes the color of the water, which I think is really cool. The water, the color when the sun is on it, it's like this deep turquoise color, which is really unique. And I have not seen it anywhere else in the world. The next location is this church here. It's said to be just as old as Venice is. And Venice just celebrated 1,600 years. That is very old. It's amazing to go around the town and see when there are dates on different buildings, like this building, <laughs> where you can see just how old and historic this city really is. For 700 years, Venice was the richest country in all of Europe. The reason being is not only did they have salt that they could harvest from the lagoon that they are in, which is where the word salary comes from, which I'd never heard of before, but because salt and then salary and then in Italian and other languages, it has to do with salt because that was a form of payment back in the day, but also because the Venetians were the only one with trades with Asia. They were the only ones that were willing to venture into Asia to get silk or spices. They would go there, spend a ton of time on boats <laughs> to go to China and India, and then bring it all back here to Europe and sell out of Venice, making it the richest country in Europe. All the Europeans came to Venice to get all these fancy goods that they were unable to get anywhere else. Anyhow, that is why Venice is so fancy, because they ended up just saving and making a ton of money through trade. I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is that I found my tiny Venetian apartment within the crazy winding streets and roads here in Venice. The bad news is the video is over. I know, so sad. <laughs> but I have a few more videos coming from here in Venice. One of the things that I did on my way home after my tour was stop and get a bottle of wine from a guy that is selling it out of vats. I saw him the other day and was like, I have to go back there. Three euro and 30 cents for this bottle of wine. 
hopefully it's good. But I cannot wait to find more little things like this in my next videos. So if you are interested in watching more content from me, be sure to subscribe and be sure to like and to comment on this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Ciao from Italy. <laughs> Bye.